Lethal Weapon 3 Data East MPU, and I had worked on this board a long time ago. That's my tag on there, my writing. Somewhere along the way, and maybe I just missed it the first time, but underneath these PIAs, there's a whole bunch of hackerage, or there was a whole bunch of hackerage under there. I have since removed all of that and finally tracked down the last bug in uh, display operation. I've also installed an NVRAM, and we should be good to go. So let's see when I boot it up. There we go. I do not have a soundboard attached. Lethal Weapon 3 uses a soundboard that I do not have. So we can put it into test and go to display test. Can't test the speakers. Here's display test. And this is a stern red uh, LED display, and it does not display Data East uh, renderings correctly. It somehow copies all pixels above the bottom row into the bottom row. And it, as it, you'll see in this vertical line, it looks like there's two lines scrolling across the screen. It looks like that to me, too. Uh, let's see, I'm going to skip that. Here's a good example. You can see that sort of the OR function of all pixels, uh, oh, it's just in row 1. It's copied down to row 32. So the display is shifted up one row. I have no idea why that does that. It only does it if you use a Data East MPU and a um, Stern red LCD display. So switch test. I'm going to go switch one. I'm going across the diagonal. And all switches register. No active switches. The famous Data East lamp test. And let's see. I'm going to skip row and column testing. And we'll do flashers. get this set to data east and the blue light that's on all the time that is the ac select relay which makes sense since it's doing flashers now we'll do coils and you'll see a red one red led come on and then the big bright blue one come on followed by a green one so that's the a side followed by the c side And that Seaside Relay, AC Select Relay, just stayed on. You can see that. No big deal. Here's the special solenoids. And I can test the switch inputs for the special solenoids also. All good. Looks like that's it. She reboots. And we'll go into attract mode. After it says something about missing balls, probably. And that's what we've been looking for all this time. Finally, got it. There was one signal. It was segment J, as in jack-o'-lantern, when you have this connected to an alphanumeric display that wasn't getting through, and that was causing all of these animations that you're seeing right now to not play correctly on the display. Thanks for sending it. Thanks for your patience. Getting it back to you.